Now let us start with second PUC economics chapter 1 which is introduction to economics. When we go to the introduction to economics, we will study many things in that. We have to study about the economic activities, economic goods as well as we see the different kinds of economies. Now when we see the economic activities, what do you mean by economic activities? As an example we say every person is engaged in one or the other activities. When you see each and every person in the world from children to the adults, even the grown up people as well as the uh, older people, they do some kind of activities. Now some activities what happen, they will be helping them to earn some kind of income. Generally, they work to get income so that they can buy the goods and services to satisfy their needs and wants. We know only people do work for what they get to get an income. With that income what they will do? They have to get, they have to purchase the goods and services which helps them to satisfy their needs and wants. Such income generating activities are called as economic activities. The name itself activities which provide income to the people, they are known as economic activities. Now let us see what is the meaning of economic goods. Now we know all the people of the world, they need some kind of goods and services which helps to satisfy human wants and they are limited. Whatever we have, we want, we will not get so much in abundance in number, it is all limited. So what happens? We have to purchase them, they will be keeping a certain price for them. So hence the goods and services are priced. So, the priced goods and services are known as economic goods. Once again, the goods and services which are priced are called are economic goods and these economic goods when you see they are limited in number and we say instead of limited we can use one more word as it comes in economics which is they are scarce in number. Scarce always comes to show the shortage of the goods and services. So economic goods are always scarce or limited in number. So we price, we give price for them so that people will be buying them according to their income. So they are known as economic goods. Next is the problem of unlimited wants and limited resources. In an economy, the human wants are unlimited and the resources to satisfy them, the resources we say the different factors of production. There are so many types of resources, we say land, labor, capital, organization are the main factors of production. Now we go to the different kinds of resources, we say there are natural resources, human resources as well as man-made resources. When we see, when we count all of this we can say, we cannot see them abundantly in nature. They all are scarce in number, so we can see that or we can say that the wants are unlimited. But to fulfill or to satisfy these wants, we need the resources and the resources or the factors production are limited or we say that they are scarce in number. In reality, both individual and society has limited resources. Economics is about making choices in the presence of scarcity. So sometimes what happen when there is scarcity of the resources? People have to make choices, there are less this thing and the income is very less, so we will not be able to buy certain kind of resource. So people will have option which is having lesser price, they will select that. So that is known as what? The problem of or the solution of making choices. People will make choices from the different kinds of resources. Scarcity and choices are important in economics. So when we study economics, we say two main things comes there. One is scarcity and the other one is choices. When there is shortage of resources, people will have the option of choice. And when we study both of this, this we can say it is economics.